This is the Wuhan coronavirus yeah. right, that's right. caused this, and the information that we got at the front end of this thing uh, wasn't perfect and has led us now to a place where much of the challenge we face today is put us behind the curve. Remember, nobody knew what this was at the beginning. And yes, there was a cluster of strange pneumonia um, clusters and infections and so on, but nobody at that stage realised that it was particularly significant. It took a little time to develop. So what happens is that once we understood what we were dealing with, then we started to test and to check across a broader range of criteria. And that meant that the numbers rose quickly. Now remember, China's not the only group in this situation. So just recently, France suddenly increased its number of reports because up until then, it had not counted deaths that had occurred in, in uh, outside of hospitals. It only counted hospital deaths. Once it started counting deaths in nursing homes, the numbers cr increased quite dramatically. Some people insist on calling this a China virus or a Wuhan virus or something similar. And there's an increasing idea that somehow China is responsible for all of this. We need to remember that although this outbreak appears to have started in Wuhan, it could just as easily have started in any other place where there is human and animal contact. Western nations knew after Chinese New Year the impact that COVID was having, the lockdown in Wuhan, etc. They knew this was a serious problem. So why were they not prepared? They knew what was happening. China wasn't covering up. And in fact, China let the genome of COVID virus be known internationally as soon as it was known within China. So there was no withholding of information. And in fact, WHO has praised China for its degree of disclosure and its sharing with the global scientific community. Western nations are eager to blame someone for their own mistakes. America in particular, they knew about this in mid-January, but they really did nothing until they started to see an increase in infections. The same with Italy. Italy was well aware of the situation in China. It was world news. It was headlines for days and days and days. And yet, many countries sat back and said, oh no, we don't need to really worry about this. It's purely a Chinese problem. So it's very important not to blame China for mistakes that Western countries have made themselves.